frying pan. And into the fire, run. Run! Hello and welcome to Out of the Frying Pan Podcast YouTube channel. I'm here with another update on the Helm's Deep build or Helm's Deep toy conversion, which is probably more accurate. Um, so since the first video, I've finished um, building the whole thing now. It's all ready to go. Well, let's say that there's a question mark over one bit I may want to add, which I'll discuss a little bit later in the video. So I've got some stills coming up for you that I took as I was building. It's quite large. So most of the stills uh, are in the garden. Um, so I've got some stills coming up where I talk over them and explain what I've been doing and there is a short video at the end pretty much of the same stuff but just so it's not all stills and um, you've got a little bit of video to see as well and um, gives you a, a better idea of, of the thing in 3d so to speak um, and then I'll come back at the the end of this short video just to kind of sum up but uh, so I'll take you to the images of Helm's Deep now so here we are with the first images so I got the castle out put it in the garden, got my tape measure out and quickly realised that I was never going to get the full deeping wall within a 4x4 four four, uh, board for it. So it's pretty obvious now looking at it, it was never really going to work. I kind of took the dimensions from, from the toy itself and uh, needed a bit more space. So there it is measured out as a 6x4 and now the project will have to fit on a 6x4 table. Um, as I said, logical really thinking about it. Um, so measuring out, working what I needed to fit. Um, and I was just going to squeeze three sections of wall on. Um, here's some images of some doors that I found on eBay. I think they're made by Mantic. Um, when I built the castle, I used the used the toy. There weren't any doorways apart from the original one, and I've built all these walls in and filled them out. But I haven't really planned how you'd move around on the inside, and I'll show you a bit more about that later. So here's the wall sections built out of XPS foam. Thicker stuff is is, is the um, um, cream color stuff, and the six mil stuff is blue. Six mil stuff doesn't just doesn't work as well. It looks much more scruffy and school project like, and in many ways I'm not very happy with it. Um, I think I have to keep trying to remind myself that this is a, a gaming terrain piece um, rather than a kind of super high end. Um, display piece or something that's going to be my kind of a big big project as I mentioned in the last video that it does grate me a little bit um, the blue stuff does look a bit high school project-ish um, but I'm gonna have to live with that because I'm not going to back and redo it there's the broken section I just made that using uh, a full section an extra section I made up properly and then I just broke it and cut it up um, and I've kept most of the chunks not all of them um, which I'll just lay out when that section is destroyed there's a picture or a couple of images of it with these it's black paint and PVA seal shove over ready for the spray um, and that's the full thing um, with the with, with the, the full spray and prime on little arrows there just showing you where I'd put some of those doors there's, there's better images of it a little bit later on um, but that's it really ready for done ready for done ready for, for, for painting with the airbrush um, there's another image from the other side shows the stairways I've added so you've got ac access sort of up to the the, the par parapets of the wall um, um, slightly closer image that's another view of one of those mantic doors um, it doesn't open but you know, gaming wise it's very easy just to say well you can pass through it um, so it should work fine um, just another closer image of, of the wall so this is a black prime with a, with a light dusting of a, a grey primer just to help me when I start airbrushing with the airbrush um, there we go there's a doorway through that way and a stairway I built again I didn't really plan the the rising stairway to get the way to get to the the, the top battlements um, bit, a bit bit lazy planning and, and, and building really um, quite a lot of that through this whole project <laughs> cutting corners and things um, yeah you can see them there so you can you can get to every area of, of the castle now. There are doorways that can lead you to certain areas. You just have to be decided before the game about you go through one doorway, you know, does it take you a full turn to come out the other side, so to speak? Having to imagine passageways through the rock and things. Slightly closer image of them as those little sort of windy stairs lead you up to the top la level there and because of my poor building to start with. But it worked. It looks it looks sort of old and rickety, even if it's not quite like the the, the film it's still just keep enough of the the image there there's an, you can't see it but there's another doorway down there at the end of the corridor which again like I said could lead you, you'd imagine it would lead you through the rock but you could bring you out in the in the courtyard and things um, a video, image of the uh, broken rock area primed and uh, 
replacing the, the middle section there um, you know a few more aerial shots and things so I'm missing um, the Hornberg um, and I'm at pains to decide whether I, whether to add it or not it would be it wouldn't be used for gaming it would be in the back area there do I pretend it's out of shot or do I build something torn at the moment so I thought I'd give you some proper video as well rather than just the stills and show you all the kind of the final the final part before I start to airbrush it which is going to be quite tricky and we have to do that inside You're not going to see an awful lot more than you would on the stills, but this is something a little bit more interesting than just some photographs. You can see lots of bits I've added. Um, I made the castle more accessible because I didn't really plan it out very well, as I mentioned a bit earlier on. There's your extra staircases and doors. Um, you just have to use some common sense while playing in it. But, you go through one doorway and it gives you uh, access to another part of the, the castle. No, I suppose in most games we're going to be talking about attacking the main walls anyway. And there's the deeper wall, which is in three sections. Let's take you around the other side. Go. So I built two staircases in to give you access to the wall from behind. doorway doesn't open as I already mentioned but still easy enough to work out access in game but you uh, get the idea Here we are as the destroyed section. So I pretty much made a, an identical section and then broke it up afterwards. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to keep those bits loose. And we just come around the back. Well, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Um, hopefully it was entertaining it's nice and short so shouldn't keep you too long uh, you can see where I'm up to with it now so all primed ready to to get the airbrush on which is going to be the next challenge really um, size wise makes it a little bit hard I don't want to get airbrush spray everywhere it's a lot more control than you would have with a rattle can um, so I'm debating whether I'm taking my airbrush equipment outside I'm waiting for a still day um, or I'm going to bring the, the model up to the office have it on a small table or whatever I was working on and maybe just put some sheeting up or something behind to make sure I'm not over spraying onto my, my armies behind or onto the books down that end or onto my wife's desk or anything else that will get me into trouble. Um, so we'll see how it goes but um, the next video will be hopefully it's um, quite a way through painting um, whether I completely finish it off and add all the final touches and come back to you then I don't know so there will definitely be a third video there may be four I can't imagine there'll be more than sort of two painting videos so we'll see how we go out of the frying pan and into the fire run run <laughs>